Hey there, Canaanites. Total free chicken for the last time as we come about to midnight and the start of June 10th, at least at the time of recording this. Last thing for today, just a comprehensive look at all the footage we got today. Um, some stuff from IGN, some B-roll that was available for download uh, to media outlets. So uh, take a look and enjoy. Not now, very soon. You guys had uh, Blur, one of the really yeah. well, re well regarded uh, cinematic studio, redo all of the Halo 2 cinematic so uh, Sergeant Johnson went from you know he hasn't aged well as far as the 2004 engine to now he looks um, basically some picture the Halo 4 cutscenes but better effectively right is that fair to say yeah I mean it was it was fantastic I mean Halo 2 really I mean there's over like 60 minutes of, of cinematics and Blur's redoing all of them and what's fun is the cinematics uh, also work with that back feature so you can swap instantly between the new cinematics to the old ones while you're watching it <laughs> But the other thing we did with Blur, which is really interesting, is that we, um, we've created like an intro and an outro, if you will, that's going to kind of start to tease to what we're doing with the next Halo in right. terms of storyline and things like that. That was a big thing that people enjoyed in the first anniversary with the Terminals in particular, yep. was we started teasing some of the Halo 4 storyline. So we're going to be doing a lot of that in this game as well. You guys have Terminals we and Skulls in Halo terminals. 2 now, Yeah, right? absolutely. There's Halo 2 anniversary. We'll get yeah, into and as you it. can see, I mean, you can swap through these chapters really easily. You can select whatever it is that you want to play, and um, you know you can see over there at, at the top as well the notion of playlists. So the other thing that's mm. a ton of fun about having everything unlocked are just we're going to have these customized playlists, taking moments from all of the games and putting those together. So um, if we want to do, if I want to do all the Warthog missions from all four Halo games right in a row with with two to four friends I exactly can do that. you can just go right in it we're gonna have a bunch of different ones my personal favorite it's just literally the grind from like the first mission of the first halo to the last mission of halo there better 4. be an you achievement that. for that reveal well, that right now we'll have a little something for the people who do that that's <laughs> I, I don't think we want to leave that that's one that's like the endless set list in rock band <laughs> that's basically the halo equivalent of that um so every every mission in every game is unlocked from the get-go, right? There's no need to, I don't have to play through all four games absolutely. again, it's just all right here. Yeah, completely unlocked. I mean, you absolutely can play through uh, you know, each of them uh, entirely if you want, but you can hop through if you want to skip a mission, you don't want to play the library, you want to you know, pop you? past that. <laughs> you can I know. Frank always gives me the look when I, I say I that. I gotta ask, uh, guys, what's, you know, so Halo 2 is getting the anniversary treatment, uh, but what about, I mean, Halo 3 is kind of, Caught in the middle, right? It's 2007, uh -huh. early generation 360 game. What What's being done from the visual side on Halo that, 3, if anything at that's all? That's a great question. Halo 3 and Halo 4, uh, they kind of don't need it as much. Yeah. Obviously, they were they were uh, pretty good looking games on the last generation system. Um, they both really benefit though from going to 1080p, yeah. uh, 60 frames a second, and some of the some of the changes aren't necessarily just in resolution or, or sort of overall fidelity. Some of the things that we did, especially in Halo 4, there's some detail and data in the, in the graphics that is just showing up now in a way that it wouldn't before. And you can think of it kind of like a Blu-ray remaster in some ways. Right, right. And some of that's just a sort of natural uh, evolution of, of just bumping it onto that uh, bigger GPU with more RAM and so on. Yeah. But they, they, both, they both look pretty modern. Halo 4 in particular, and I would say this of course, but it kind of looks almost like a next-gen game just, just running it. Well, it was all—it it almost, already so yeah, it was crazy yeah. how and it, and good looks, that game looked on 360. It looks better uh, on Xbox well, gulch, One. Hang on high. There we go. <laughs> Jump into that one. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sort of saying poking around the interface here. Yeah, I think they're, they're scrolling around the interface. So it's, it's also there's a key detail. So Frank, you mentioned the six re uh, sort of remast yeah. reimagined Halo Two multiplayer maps that are being done in an Xbox One engine. That's that's in addition to, they're, yes. they're all there in their original classic Absolutely. form. This is in addition to, and uh, Max Hoberman, the, the original Halo multiplayer 2 multiplayer designer. lead yeah. who now runs, who started Certain Affinity and has yeah. done a lot of yeah. Halo multiplayer maps for you guys. He is, he is, he designed those, right? Yeah. These new ones? Yeah, I mean, really, if you want to really think about it, you could say there are five multiplayer maps in this, right? You've got Modes. the original one. Yeah. Uh, modes, thank you. The original one, the original <laughs> what two. What happened to 100? Oh, my God. <laughs> the original <laughs> one, two, three, four, and also this, this newer one that we've done for these new six reimagined maps. It was really interesting um, with Max. You know, as we said, he was the, the original designer on these yeah. things. When we started working on this and I called him up, he was, he was all in. He was just really excited to, to be able to do it. 
then we sat down with him and just started talking like what are things you wanted to do that you couldn't necessarily get done yeah. either for time either for technology things like that and as you look at these maps today what are you know how would you like to envision these so it's just a fabulous process working through with max and the and the rest of the team over there and bringing these maps to life and we showed you guys ascension today yeah and uh, we'll be rolling out some of the other maps as we get closer to launch and uh let's touch on so halo one uh, of course we talked about the multiplayer the campaign, uh, this it is the anniversary That's edition right. of the Halo One campaign. So with that one, we can. It's it sounds like it's not it's not being given maybe the full Halo Two style treatment where it's built for Xbox yeah. One, but it is the switch back and forth between classic and the sort of modern, you know, the, the refresh look we saw a few years ago. Absolutely, yeah. So it's the same one we launched at. Ah, uh, here we go. We're there we are. We're, we're in the Cairo station. Um, 1080p, 60 frames. Uh, so, you know what, I wanted to ask you guys this, I believe you had confirmed this for me earlier. Uh, Two-player online co-op for the first time in the Halo campaign, correct? Halo 2 campaign? That's right, yeah, we're going to have that for, uh, in particular for 2, 3, and 4. Yep. We're going to have those cross the board on those, which is uh, going to be a tremendous amount of fun. Similar for Forge as well. You're going to be able to forge on 2, 3, and 4. Awesome. Forge on 2? That's correct. How is that possible? That's more of the magic. <laughs> yeah, I know. I saw some speculation uh, just before we got here, actually, like people wondering if we were doing Forge for those or not. And yeah, we absolutely are. Yeah, when I met with you guys just a few weeks ago, uh, you weren't, you, you hadn't confirmed it, and I put it in my, there's, a, I have a big, you know, preview piece that breaks down everything on IGN right now. I need to actually go in and update that with some good news. I want to keep you going. Yeah, no, so absolutely. So when, uh, yeah, when we spoke, what was it, three weeks ago? Yeah, Something like that. that. We were close to locking it, but we weren't 100%, and between now and then, uh, that has locked and confirmed. So, uh, Dan, Frank, I want to have you talk talk us through here uh, what's going on. Well, you're coming up to About the, the visual fidelity and exactly what's yeah, going on caveat, under the hood here. Caveat the whole thing, this is obviously work in progress. Sure. This is going to get better and better as we as we keep working through it. And there's definitely, with, with this kind of development, there's a lot of layering that goes in, even more so than, than building a game from scratch. Yeah. And uh, But we're, we're pretty Whoa. happy. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's funny, they, wow. sometimes... Time Crazy. Sometimes the, the change is really jarring and Ooh. frightening, but sometimes it's kind of happening with how well built the game yeah. environment was in the first place. And we, we saw that with the original anniversary. Um, but yeah, and, and the other thing is the switch is instant now. Uh, yeah. Previously, there was a little bit of lag as you switch between the memory and screen buffers, uh, and now that switch is 100% uh, instant. You can do it in the middle of a firefight and survive. So, are these, uh, are these elite and grunt models uh, built off, are these the Halo 4 ones? That are these are these all new models that, are, that have been done for the enemies? So we grabbed from a number of different games actually to pull them together for this. As you can see there's a pretty stark difference even between the characters here as you're swapping back and forth. So um, really across, there's no one answer to that. We grabbed across the board and made modifications gotcha. uh, on a case by case. But yeah, you can really tell that. That's what, one of the things we wanted to do, you know, people really enjoyed that swap so much. And we wanted to evolve that as well for Xbox right. One. As Frank alluded to, there was that fade in, fade out on the first one, and we've just got obviously more power to work with now. So a big thing was just to make that swap instantaneous. Uh, Frank, this is something in particular that uh, I've talked to you about before. I'm curious, with, with the you know, Halo 2 anniversary in particular, was there ever any consideration or investigation done into uh, the, the infamous E3 2003 <laughs> yeah, we, we single player demo, you know, the game, that, that mission that never yeah, made the game. We, we talked about uh, include, it. You know, making that playable for this. Yeah, we talked about it. I think the, the, the problem is that it, it, it never. How's it going, Malta? Stand by. They're left.
Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and maybe share it around on whatever social media you choose. Also, please be sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. All your support is extremely welcome. Thank you all.